Hello, and welcome back to some more Elder Scrolls Online beta. I did do a little bit of questing in between the last time we were here. I forgot to hit record like a noob. So just to recap what we did, I didn't get very far. I went to the, the uh, inn over here, the tavern, uh, and uh, I talked to Jack Rum, and we found out that his, his little mistress girlfriend figured out his ruse and doesn't like him anymore. He says he might have some more jobs for me, and he gave me this awesome sword. Uh, I cleared out my inventory, and now we're just basically heading to this island over here uh, for a dwarven part. So I guess we're going to be doing some swimming. Let's hope there's nothing nasty in the water. Is there an auto? Oh, there is an auto swim button. Awesome. Okay, here we are. Oh no, not not these guys. I don't want to hurt you guys. Oh, I'm on the wrong island. Well, good. I don't have to hurt you guys because I have to go over here. And there's a corpse. A lot of people were killed by wild beasts. Let's pick up a Dweamer Park. Oh, I guess there, this is kind of a uh, a pattern here. He sent this guy. They, they sent all these people out to look for these Dweamer Parts, and they've all been ended up being killed. So I have to find the monkey, and the last Dweamer Part is on that ship over there. So let's continue on. Uh-oh, those guys are glowing red, so it looks like we're not in friendly territory. Let's get some armor up. Oh, didn't interrupt during time. Connecting a lot with my hits here. You know, just fall down and die. Sea Drake disguise. Now that could be useful. Disguise yourself as a Sea Drake. Equip. Interesting. Accessories. It was in the accessory spot. You are now required to disguise. Equip it to fool your enemies. Engage in combat. Re removes your disguise. Oh, very cool. And the little hidden symbol comes up because I'm disguised. That, I like that. I, I really like that. Kill a few of them, grab a disguise, and uh, remain undetected. I am impressed. Kudos, Bethesda. Okay, where's Howler? He's over here. Uh-oh. Is he seeing through my disguise? I was in danger. There's Howler. expecting oh you're not too bad oh were you an orc were you the orc or was that just a player i don't think she was the orc what brings you to this trash pit how did you do that sneak up on you it's what i do howler draws all the attention i do all the sneaking 
Understood. You answer my question. What are you doing here? Um, yeah. My ship may be a pile of driftwood, but my crew's alive and Captain Helene has them. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue my crew, and I'll help you with Colleen's heist. Okay. I didn't expect to get help so quickly. Remind me to thank Colleen when we're done here. All right, what's the we're plan? Going to disguise my crew as sea drakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour red guard, and a big orc. The drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Okay. Look for hampers with clothes. Or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drugged. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. Okay, so that's what Remember, was... You can take clothes from hampers or off dead sea drakes. That's what I was uh, experiencing a minute ago. So let's do let's do another health point. Don't see how that's a bad thing. Let's take a look at our skills. Ah, oh, we can now do Searing Strike, Drake Talons, or Molten Weapons. Increased weapon damage by nearby allies, 45 seconds. Bonus increased 100% by on by 100% on caster. Draconic powers, dra dark talons immobilizes nearby enemies for 3.5 seconds. And deals 20 physical damage. Okay. And I got Searing Strike. Deals 19 flame damage and deals 35 flame... Okay. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Let's do that instead of this. Let's move that over there. I don't actually use that. Use Searing Strike. Interesting. Okay. So I'm disguised. Avoid the torch ones. They're not drunk. And I'm looking for... Let's get our journal out and, and change the... Uh, focus quest right now we've got to find the portly breton and um, some kind of orc and somebody else i can't remember so where are we going here ah so there's one in here oh that got turned around one in here oh i'm in danger oh is it because of that guy all right he's drunk or whatever oh there we go Don't beat me again. Thank the eight. I thought I'd die in here. Helene came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public slaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time. She's one cold witch. All right, all right, let's get you. Stay away from Helene. Out of here. She's a monster. All right. Did, did you? Hmm, okay. There's the torch guy. Oop. Don't look at me. Alright. Let's get out of here. One over here. Let's take a look up the stairs. Interesting. Oh. On your grave. Okay. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The sea drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. These sea drakes give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Can do. Okay, interesting. So my friend here has informed me. He's been watching the stream, and he says, you know, hey, you've also got skills for your weapons as well. So I'm level 4 dual wield, and I actually have twin slashes and flurry. Interesting. And also I have some armor as well. Light armor. Heavy armor. Okay, interesting. Very cool. Okay, so I did not know this all existed. I, I just kind of totally glazed over this. So next time, 
I have to look into my dual wield for some other skills as well, because these only cost one skill point. Cool. Not just my class has skills. Very cool. All right, the last person is over here. Go away, good. There's that guy. Guess he's eating. If you're going to kill me, get it over with. Ha. Ah, another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. I'll chance it and make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. Ah, uh, this guy didn't away. die fighting. This guy didn't believe me that I was actually here to rescue him. Okay. Oop. Somebody's in a fight. These guys taken care of. He's got some pretty cool gear. Oh, I guess he's not disguised. <laughs> okay, so now off to the docks. Oop, danger. Where was I in danger? Don't, no. Oh, she w wh wait, what? She was a bush. Interesting. You're a welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Herdon, and Meacock. Any luck? Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Deragor. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Deragor down in back. Okay. Good trick, that. Did I really disguise myself as a fern? Or did you see a fern because you weren't looking close enough? I'll be visiting Helene in her cabin to thank her for the hospitality she's extended my crew. Come on up after you release Deragor. You should really say hello. Her cabin girl had a key. Poor little Bosna lass, barely any meat on her bones. I think Helene was starving her. She's on her way to Port Hunding now, and I'm one clear richer. Okay. So, I'm supposed to get on this ship and rescue her first mate. Let's go. I notice a lot of the captains in this uh, ESO are, are like these female pirate captains. We've already met two so far. On the uh, Aldmeri Dominion starting line, we had a uh, another female captain. Nobody's suspicious of me yet. Okay. Are you guys? Oh, okay. Storeroom key. Take it. The quest markers are nice. They're very, they're very Elder Scrollish, but um, I always get totally lost with quests, and that's I love it. I know some people don't like to be kind of hand-fed to where to go, but I, I totally enjoy being know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I'm not telling you anything, scum. What have you done with Captain Larissa? Yeah? <laughs> I knew she got away. Helene said she was being keel hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my captain classy for nothing. Get me out of these boats, and let's get out of here. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Okay. That guy was uh, very trusting of me. Now I gotta enter the captain's cabin. Looks like it's upstairs. So we're gonna go see what, what, uh, what this is all about. I have a feeling this is going to be bad. What have you... Did you poison me? Don't mind, Captain. Are you feeling okay? Got you like a stuck fig. Cut your eyes out. Roast like you. Like you did my crew. No. 
that won't happen again. <sighs> oh, she fell down. <laughs> okay. So she poisoned him. Felt good. Poisoned her, I'm sorry. Me? Did I do that? Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Daragor get out? I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. Oh, it's yarn root. A very nasty local poison. It won't kill her. Not right away. It starts by dissolving the stomach lining, then goes from there. I'd love to stay and watch, but no time. You can stay if you like. It's actually her poison, kept for slaves who disobey. There's an antidote on the dresser if your heart bleeds enough. I feel mildly disappointed, but I'll leave it up to you. Meet me on the beach once you're done here and we'll settle up. Just watch your boot. She'll start vomiting soon. So, this lady has poisoned the captain who stole all of her crew. And I've been given the morality option of going ahead and giving her the antidote, which I forgot where it is. Oh, it's over here. I don't know. You never know who to believe in these games. I mean, everybody's painting this picture like she's a really horrible, horrible person. Leave, let Helene die. Hence, collect antidote. Complete one. Give Aunt Helene an antidote or leave. Let Helene die. Just, it's fine. Just let her die. I don't really have any say in the matters of the pol local politics here. Oh, let's get night, daytime. She's way over there. Yo. Where is my? Uh, I should have gone got that pot first. Oh well. Pot, not part, not pot. I keep thinking it was a Dweemer pot for some reason. Oh well. My crew is safe. And only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Oh, many a captain who sails these waters will be glad of that news. Now, let's talk favors. I owe you a big one. She's a bit too obsessed with old Faharajad for me, but I like her style. Seeing as I need a new ship, gold will come in handy. I'm in. Can't let what you did for us go unrewarded. See you back in town. You! Hey, you! Hey, you! Yeah, you! <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find you. You move around. Hey there. I'm Nicolene. I work for Captain Colleen. She sent me to find you, see if you'd had any luck recruiting for our heist. Looks like you're already making new friends. Then listen, just so you know, we're set up in a hideout near the docks. Come find us when you finish recruiting. Look for Lambour outside the door. There's three folks Captain Colleen wants to help with her heist. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. She told me about him. Who do you want to know about? He's a brilliant Dwemer sage. Not that he's Dwemer himself, but he studies them. He's out of this dark, digging in the ruins there. 